Hi, today we will learn about how to calculate process capability of attribute type of output. Suppose you have a machine which has two output, it, either it passes the job produced or it rejects the uh, job produced. So there is no variable type of data, there is no measurement system. Uh, which says that this is beyond this specification limit so you will reject this so you have only either it passes it or it rejects it then how to calculate the process capability for so knowing the cap process capability of this type of machine you have two methods one is binomial and second one is poison capability analysis now when you target on total number of defective produced from the process you go for binomial capability analysis and when you target on total number of defects on a particular unit produced from the process then you go for poison capability analysis today we'll learn about uh, binomial capability analysis what i have done is i have listed down 25 distinct sample checked on different day and total number of non-conformities or defective part observed from that process. So I have listed it down total number of parts checks on particular day and total number of defective observed while checking this total number of parts. Now for sample size you have two options either you keep your uh, sample size is constant or each day or each shift you may change your sample size and you check the non-conformities you can do either of the way uh, what I have done is I have, I have for uh, simulation purpose for each day I have kept the sample size different so what we'll do is we'll uh, copy this part copy this data and go to so I have copied this uh, data and I will go to mini tab I'll paste it here okay so now what we have we have number of parts checked per day and total number of non conformities or total number of defective so we'll select for selecting this binomial capability analysis we'll go to quality tools we'll go to capability analysis we'll go to binomial when you select this binomial it it will say you it determines whether the percentage of defective item meets customer requirement or not and if you will select this poison it will it will give you it will determine whether the rate of defect per unit means on one unit there may be several defect so it determines whether the rate of defects per unit meets the customer requirement or not since we are using total number of defective defective parts from the process so we'll go to binomial and we'll select it now total number of defective so defective is non-conformity so i will select non-conformities and since my size is not constant if I would have selected 20 size I would check check 20 samples per day then I would uh, have written here 20 but since I have uh, checked different samples on different day so I will select use size in and I will select number of parts checked now I'll go to test I'll give a title say uh, capability of XYZ machine okay I will now this is optional okay enter the target percentage defective of the process if you have a CTQ and you uh, suggest that uh, total number of uh, defective parts do should be zero then you select zero or else if you are giving it a tolerance then you can give two three five percent i may select five percent effective i may give uh, some tolerance to the machine 
uh, now this uh, test has several other parameters uh, for uh, like uh, one points or more than three sigma on the center line you may select as per your requirement so by default it is uh, one point more than three sigma from center line is uh, the test which can be uh, called for a special cause we will see further so go for it it will give you a graphical representation of uh, all the points so uh, now you have got p chart rate of defective cumulative percentage defective and a histogram with a summary stats now this p chart is used for attribute of type of data and it's a control chart any point which goes beyond this ucl is an outlier and these outlier which means there are three numbers red red spots these are the special causes these are the special causes which have been observed while checking this non conformities while while doing this uh, total exercise so you have two options either you omit this uh, outliers and take a fresh reading or else you uh, drill down on this date and you deep down what happened why the non-conformities went outside the control limit and you dig uh, you uh, the analysis should be on these particular special causes okay so uh, by removing this you can uh, also say or you omitting this you can also say it may be near to stability means your process seems to be stable if these special causes are deleted so you this is your call this must be based on the process manufacturing process uh, the quality engineer should take a call whether they call it a, a stable process or you may uh, you dig dig it down further for knowing this why this special causes have been created now for rate of defective parts this is a relationship between the percentage defective versus the sample sizes every sample sizes has some percentage defective these two lines are the confidence interval it seems that most of the point most of the point are between this con confidence interval so you may say that it's a very good uh, type of percentage defective per sample size now this rate of defective is being also represented as cumulative percentage defective you have all the 25 point 25 data which you have taken and this is the cumulative percentage defective of all the 25 distinct sample sizes which you have taken now the most important part is summary stats this summary stats says that percentage defective is 8.9 this means that 8.9 percent of the of the total uh, jobs produced from this process per million would be defective S means if you if you produced 1 million parts then 89041 89041 parts may be defective this means out of 95 percent confidence interval on 95 percent confidence interval this is lower confidence interval this is upper control interval at 95 percent confidence interval the total percentage defective which may be produced from the process would be in between 6.41 percent to 11.97 percent right your target is if it is ctq is uh, if it is ctq it's a very uh, important process then you may tend to go to zero percent so for for going to zero percent you may have to take some projects now uh, the most important part is this process g z value represent the capability of this uh, machine xyz machine 
So, uh, the minimum uh, what is expected is process Z should be 2 for CTQs. Since it is 1.3, you may have to lower down the percentage of defective so that the value of Z increases and it go beyond uh, you know uh, 2 or more than 2. Okay. So, by doing this you may uh, understand and you may calculate uh, process capability of attribute type of machines where there is uh, no uh, variable output and no variable inferences. I hope this video uh, would help you in finding out uh, the process capability of attribute type of machine. Thank you so much.